Welcome back. I hope that you are all okay and that you've had a good week. Um, first thing I need to tell you lot is that I have actually opened up a Mr. Love Tarot Facebook page now. So, uh, I'll put it in the description. You can go and find it. I know, because I've been on Instagram with it all for like the last year, I have it. Everyone's been at me. Uh, at me. That was bad English. People, everyone's been at me to open up a Facebook page. So, I have done that now. Um, so, yeah, I'll put it in the description. Go and like it. I haven't posted anything on there yet, but I'll probably just echo a bit of what's in Instagram, etc, etc. So what we're going to do today is where is your person's head at? So we're going to open it up again. Uh, basically what that means is what's going on in their mind. Where are they currently? What's the current energy? That kind of stuff. Uh, this is going to be deck number one and this is going to be deck number two. Pick your deck. My guide is saying can you go from where your gut instinct is pulling you? So where if you've got a pull in your... There's a dog. Everyone says she went in the last video. Poppy. Poppy. Uh, number one, number two. Where your uh, stomach is pulling you. Let's go. So, can you get me into the collective energy, please, of deck number one? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So, as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So, if anything doesn't resonate, remember it for a later date. It's also possible that you're not going to be part of the strongest mutual energy if you're like, well, that doesn't make sense. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, um, Again, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if you need to book a private reading, just give me a holler. Okay, think about your person. Let's get into their energy. Their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes. And let's also do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of your person. Okay, that's cool. Right, how many do you want? Let's go. Can you tell me where is whoo, where is their person's head at? Where's their head at? I'm sure that's a song. Where is their head at? So regardless of individual circumstances, whether you're third party, whether you're being alone and ghosted, etc, etc. It is that mutual energy between you all. Where is their head at? Three, four... Eight. One more. I don't know if that's a song. Just one more. Let's have a jumper. Thank you. Okay. So, what's currently happening in your person's head? energy etc etc your person's feeling quite alone at this moment in time and again regardless of situations um they're feeling quite abandoned they're feeling a little bit kind of left alone left out in the cold um and if you are feeling that same energy and you're like oh i'm not sure that they're feeling that spirit is saying it's because you're mirroring one another so if you're thinking oh well they're in a relationship or well they left me um if you're feeling that you've been quite abandoned alone maybe betrayed a little bit your person is also so picking up on your energy so you're actually both kind of feeling the same if you're feeling better about it your person is still feeling in this quite a low frequency vibration and um, they feel like they're kind of chasing the tail a little bit spirit is saying like they're going around in circles in their mind and um, they're also hanging on to more negative thoughts at this point in time and um, they're trying to take two steps forward and then they keep taking one step back and that isn't just with regards to you that's with regards to everything spirit also saying there's a lot of escapism um, a lot of escapism going on as well so your person might be going out partying hanging with friends alcohol drugs anything along those lines your person's currently engaging in this escapism behavior um, and the reason for that again is because they're feeling alone um, they're feeling like everything's got on top of them and they're not really sure what direction they're supposed to be taking so they're doing one foot in front of the other and then taking about three one step forward two steps backward person's in quite a low frequency at the moment uh, they have, they've had these towers hit them 
Okay, so there's, with regard to you and them, uh, there's been towers, as in situations have happened or circumstances have happened, um, and everything's kind of fallen apart around them. Now, at this moment in time, your person is navigating on logic rather than emotion, um, and this is also why they're feeling quite alone. They're working it through in their head, working it through on their mind, but they're definitely going from a more logical standpoint at this moment in time. Again, the reason for that is because they're thinking, well, we are where we are. This is what it is. Either uh, I'm, you know, it's for, it's fantasy. Would it ever really become reality? Would this actually happen? Um, and this is why they're also feeling alone and abandoned. They're feeling very, very low frequency. Towers have happened and they're trying to act on logic at the moment. So they're disregarding the emotions that are happening in their heart. Now, as time kind of progresses, oh, sorry, we've got, we've got the three of swords as well. So they're really, really, really low. Three of swords, heartbreak, sadness, mourning, grieving. Very, very low frequency. Uh, there's a couple of people that have also got family issues, I'm hearing. Uh, some of some people have got issues with, uh, there's probably about one or two of people that have had issues with their mother in the last week, where their mother's kind of got a bit ill, bad breathing, chest problems. Um, so that's been happening as well with a couple of, not many, but a couple of you, one, one or two of you their mothers have breathing problems so they've got feel they feel at the moment that they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders and then with everything that's happened with you on top they're feeling like they can't actually breathe at the moment you know they're waking up and feeling like they're breathing in soup you know can't they're struggling with their breath they're struggling um with how they how they're feeling and they're feeling quite suffocated so if your person has just kind of cut contact or has left you be etc etc just give them some space because if they're feeling suffocated you're not going to want to pressurize them more because you'll end up pushing them away now what's going to happen over the next month or two is your person's going to start feeling a little bit better situations around them are going to start resolving and they're not they're going to realize that it isn't all doom and gloom and through that realization they'll start acting on heart-centered emotions towards you and um, they'll realize that things are not quite what they seem that they shouldn't really be acting on logic that emotions is what navigates the world love is what navigates the world and even though they're not going to admit that to you or say that to you because they're going to think that makes them sound weak uh, they will start acting on a heart-centered energy towards you and come back to you um, and again even if you're in a relationship with them and they're distancing themselves it's the same energy it's still that they are withdrawing from situations at the moment because they're trying to act on emotions they are feeling alone you'll say yeah it's kind of their fault we completely agree with you we being me and guides but um there are reasons underlying reasons why that is happening okay um some of them you know it is their own fault They've made the, the rod for their own back and now they're feeling sorry for themselves. Um, and some of them, you know, it's been more circumstantial why things have happened. And again, if they are with someone else, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are happy. They're still kind of grieving through these emotions. And we talked through that in the last reading. We did the last third party one. So a bit of time, a bit of downtime from the situation, they'll start getting their life in check and start realising what is important to them. And through that, they have this kind of moving forward, this celebration, things happening, things working out for them. Um, they'll start realising that emotions are more important. They'll start putting all the heavy mountain roadblocks behind them and they'll move these steps forward. Through that, you've got um, the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. They'll come towards you with heart-centered energy they'll make these moves towards you they're going to be more on top of their emotions going to be feeling more stable with regard to what is going on um they're still going to be a little bit like a rabbit in headlights as in they're not really going to know what they're doing they're not really going to know what to say so if you're expecting if you're not in contact and you're expecting a hey i've missed you you are my absolute world you can you can kind of think again you're just going to get a hey what's up um but that movement will come back towards you. Two to three months, probably tops for the majority of you. Um, and then you have a passionate new beginning and reconciliation coming forward. So where they are at this moment in time, where their head is at the moment in this moment in time is that they are low frequency, they are low vibration, and they're not feeling too good. As the months go on, they're gonna start and they have sorry, as the months go on and they have space from you, spirit just interrupted me then, they're gonna start feeling a bit stronger. Um, they'll start getting on top of their emotions and they'll start working out what they want. And from that, that communication or let's talk about it or let's move forward, that will come into the equation and you guys will have this chance of a reconciliation. They won't talk to you about their emotions. Um, you can't, 
you can you know you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink a lot of your people just aren't very emotionally stable they're not very good at talking about emotions and if they do it's because they're either high or, or on alcohol you know um, they're not very good at talking about emotions so if you're suddenly expecting them to tell you how you feel you can kind of think again but what they will do by their actions of showing you that they're reaching out to you etc etc you'll gauge that they do still care about you that they have still got feelings towards you so at the moment it's a very very low frequency um, but if you, uh, from advice for you guys need to keep your vibration as high as possible, do stuff you enjoy, go dancing, uh, I know there's a couple of salsa dancers here, I do salsa as well, go salsa dancing, uh, you know, I'm also learning Brazilian Portuguese because my boyfriend's Brazilian Portuguese, so go and do that, anything that's just going to keep you occupied so you don't sink into this low frequency, you know, um, keep your vibration high and if you're starting to think oh I really really feel low go learn another language or go dancing or go and paint your nails or go and see your friends go and have a coffee anything that's really gonna make you feel a little bit better inside and then you're gonna start feeling better once you start to feel better your person's gonna you you will release the situation we talk about manifesting how you have to release it once you start feeling better and you've released the situation your person is going to start feeling that pull back towards you. So the more work you do on yourself, the more your person is going to strive to come towards you, okay? Because you'll start feeling better. You'll start releasing it. You'll start thinking, well, if it's meant to be, it'll be. And through that, that is when they will come to you. I shared a post on Instagram the other day about life's beautiful paradox that when you release something, it will come to you. You know, how many times have you thought, oh, I really, really want this. I really want it. And then you let it go and it comes to you. You know, you suddenly give up, you think, well, it's never going to happen, I've had enough, I'm done with it. Um, and you get into that different mind frame and when you do that, that movement happens. It's happened to all of us, you know, and that shows how releasing works. So the more release work you do on letting this go, the quicker your person will come back towards you. Okay, again, remember time's fluid and it can change, but that, two to three months at this moment for the majority of you. Okay. That is where your person's head is at. If you want to book a private reading, I've popped all the details in the description. Okay, let's do deck number two. Hi beauties, 12.09. So, uh, as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, it's either because you're not part of the strongest mutual energy um, or that uh, it'll come up at a later date. Okay, think about your person. Let's get into their person's... Oh, don't block me. Let's try that again, guys. Your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. Spirit just said times are changing, things are moving. Prefer, prepare for the shift. Prefer, prepare for the shift. Uh, I've just seen a really strong uh, clairvoyant image of a newspaper and on that the date definitely says November on it. Uh, it looks like November, around November the 20, looks to be 24th, there's a newspaper November 24th. So for some of you, that will not be all of you, but for some of you that date will be of importance when it comes to you and your person. Okay. Uh, let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of the person as well. Also with that date, uh, the newspaper is, it looks quite old, so it could be a date from the past, a timing from the past. Um, some of you, it could be present, but the newspaper looks quite old, so it could be an older date. Something that has happened rather than something that will happen. You have to remember when people say our oh, reading is timeless, uh, psychics we have no definition of time anyway that's how we can dip into the past present and future so if i get a clairvoyant image of a newspaper um it looks to be you know and it looks to be more past it's likely to be a past event but it could possibly be a future event okay can you tell me where that person's head is at at this moment in time where's the head at? I don't know that uh, song. Where is the head at for? It's gonna be the postie. 
my cute placid poppy dog is gonna go crazy. <laughs> you want tan on this? Where's the head out? Two, three, four, five. Okay, so your person is coming over in quite a confused energy at this moment. Also quite a sexual energy is coming forward. Uh, but more of a confused energy going on with them at this point in time. You're feeling that this relationship, whatever your equivalent relationship is, has become quite stagnant at the moment. That nothing is really happening and you're thinking, should I wait, should I move on? What do I do? What, what's what's the next steps in this? Now, obviously you have got to choose what is right for you. Uh, I would never say put your life on hold for anyone because I don't believe that. And also with manifesting, I just said in debt one, you have to release it so it can come to you. So for you and your personal circumstances, think what is right for you, what you wanna do. We're just looking at your person. So your person at the moment is feeling um, a little bit weak, a little bit stagnated, a little bit confused and a little bit unsure of what they are doing. Um, they haven't got much courage. I've just got um, Wizard of Oz, lions and tigers and bears, oh my. You know, they're a bit confused about what they're meant to be doing. They're trying to follow that yellow brick road and then keep turning back a bit. Um, and again, it's not just in relation to you, it's in relation to work as well. A lot of you, it'll be work related. They're, they're trying to move forward with life and act in a stable, secure manner for, for, the, for you or who they're with or the stability. They're trying to get into that stable place and at the moment they're on, on rocky ground. Um, so they're gathering their strength. They are being guided by spirit um, and they are, they're not necessarily in a bad place, um, but they're in a place where they're just a bit confused, uh, unsure what's meant to be doing. They're starting to think, oh, there's got to be more to life than this. They're starting to think, oh, should I go traveling? Should I do this? Should I get a new job? And really kind of reassessing their life and what they want from it. Some of you, it is third party situations in this deck and you're a bit like, well, would you just hurry up and make a choice? Um, for those of you that aren't third party, it feels that, they're, again, they're just trying to work it all out at the moment. They feel like every other pe other people have got their lives together. You know, they'll look around at their friends or families and think, oh, well, they've done this and they've done that. They've got really, really secure life together. And my life feels a little bit in uproar. I'm not really sure what I'm meant to be doing. So there's that element of jealousy kind of going on around them as well. Um, they're trying to, um, I just got to see a penny pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. They're kind of living on a bit of a whim at the moment, not sure what direction they're going to be going in, what are they doing, kind of taking a leap of faith, going with the flow of it, but they're actually really fed up and bored and a bit lonely as well. Now, with regard to how they're feeling about you, uh, stagnant as well. They're feeling quite stagnant with the energy. They know that they've upset you or pissed you off or that... Uh, they've done stuff that has irritated you or that they've made a bit of an F up with what's going on. Um, and they're kind of weighing that up as well. Again, that stagnation is coming through that they're not sure what to do. And if they're not sure what to do, they're not going to do anything at all at this point in time. Uh, the other thing Spirit just said then is if your person has just ghosted you, the reason why they've done that or it ended and, and they didn't reply to your text, etc., etc., is until they are in a better place, um, they aren't going to do anything. Once they're in that better place, they've kept the door open for you by not ending it, by not saying, oh, you know, I'm done with it. They've kind of kept that door open. They've done that on purpose, okay? Uh, whether it's subconscious or consciously, they've kept the door open. Um, you do need answers from them. And Spirit is saying you will get a chance to have answers from your people. Um, but it's not, it's not yet. There is open communi There is a communication coming in. It is going to be a more open communication with them. Um, but you're an yeah, and you will get the chance to get some answers. Uh, they're going to mask a lot of it. They're not going to tell you the complete honest truth about it. They will sugarcoat it a little bit. Reason for that is because they're not going to want to cause you any undue pain. Uh, but you would rather them be honest. Uh, yeah, they don't want to hurt you. So they've just kind of caught the door, left it open, um, but not really told you what's going on. There seems to be a little bit of jealousy going on from their point of view, from their perspective as well. So uh, they are on unstable ground. If you're not in communication, they're wondering what you're up to, who you're seeing. And there is definitely some kind of stalking going on on social media or um, 
other than social media, they are watching what you're up to or they are asking people what you are up to. And that is where this jealousy is coming forward. And um, again, they haven't shut the door on you completely. They've kept it open. They're waiting to see what happens. Um, they can see that you and them could have a, quite an, a bright, uplifting future with one another, but they're just not ready for that. At the moment, they're ready for kind of, they've got their thorns out, you know? They're not letting anyone in. It's not just you. They are like a rose with lots of thorns and you try to get close and you're going to get pricked. That is where the energy is at this point in time. But the door is still open. Around winter, this is when it's going to look like things are shifting back into your favour and there's going to be some serious changes that are going to be happening with you and your person. They're going to come towards you with heart-centred emotions, Knight of Cups. He's going to come towards you. They, sorry lads, come towards you with heart-centred emotions. They, again, they've been watching you from the sideline. If you can see on this card, you've got the heron over here. This is my third party card. And you've got the heron, where's he gone? Up here. Watching what you're up to from the sideline, seeing what you're doing. And there's going to be an offering coming in. Um, a future, a potential future. There's going to be a need for some sacrifices to be made from your person's part. They're going to have to make some choices and decisions and they might not want to do that. And again, that is why the energy could be stagnant at the moment. Um, they will make, they, they realise that they've got to make choices. They've got to make decisions. They can't stay in this confused energy. They can't stay in this stagnant energy. They'll start making these sacrifices and come towards you with heart-centred energy. They're still going to be a little bit standoffish with you, still be a little bit withdrawn and still have their thorns out a little bit. But that movement is definitely coming in and it feels to be around Christmas for most of you, the winter months. There is a lot of fear going on in your person with regard to what fears you would say to us. Uh, we would say that there is fear that they're not good enough. There is fear that they've been left in the past. There's fear that they're going to get hurt again. There's fear of love. There's fear of no love. Um, a lot of concern, a lot of worry and feeling that, you know, you, you're not going to want them by the time comes, if when they sort their shit out, that you might not actually want them. Um, so they're kind, they are reflecting on that at the moment. They know that they love you. They know that uh, there is really good potential, but they're just not quite ready to take those steps. They're just going away for the time being or withdrawing for the time being as they gather their strength. And then there's movement back. And it looks to be quite urgent movement as well. They are going to be worried that they're going to get hurt again. And that's why they're going to be a bit withdrawn from you. Uh, but the quick movement in, they're going to come with their sacrifices that they are either made or willing to make. Talk to you about it. And there is that chance for the two of you to come together. So let me just recap. At the moment, very, very stagnant energy, but heart-centered energy towards you. A need for talking about things, but they aren't doing anything at this moment in time. They can see that you've got a, a good potential. Uh, they've kept the door open for you. And there are changes that they know they need to make. There is going to be, there's jealousy as well. They're watching you on social media, etc., or wondering what you are up to. Definitely trying to assess what's going on in your life. From that, the they know that they've got to make sacrifices, um, gathering their strength, spirit are guiding it. Third party, again, same energy. Uh, they know that they have to make sacrifices to keep you and they're just a bit stagnant in doing that at the moment. Then there's movement towards you. There's going to be a reflection on it. Uh, make moves towards you they're still going to have their thorns out they're still not going to be completely honest with you they'll talk to you about their emotions but they're going to do it from a standoffish point of view and just say well you know what will be will be but heart-centered energy coming towards you either with sacrifices made or sacrifices to come and then it's going to be up to you what you choose to do so where the head is at the moment it's a bit foggy it's clouded and it's confused um, knowing that they've got to make choices as time goes on the head is going to stand in a more strong position uh, being guided sacrifices knowing that they have got to be made make those moves towards you and then you've got that chance of what you want from them okay again up to you what you choose to do like we said we would never advise anyone to put their life on hold and if you're thinking oh they're taking forever keep moving forward the more you release it the more you'll you'll move you know it will come towards you if you want your manifesting plans doing give me a shout if you want to try speed it up a bit um readings any readings i do right what do we do now we do uh i do all si sorts of readings to be fair the only ones i can't do are health uh, and pregnancy and uh legal and finance i'm restricted by uk law um so 
other than that we can do it so we do past life readings we do life purpose readings we do personal development readings i'm also teaching again now uh taking on new a new cohort as my guy says of students so if you're interested in that give me a shout um i'll put all the details in the description and facebook is open so you can go find us on facebook if you want to reach me, email is still going to be best because I'm a bit of a sucker for not checking social media messages. Um, I'm a super busy girl, so I just kind of put it away and I'll go to email. So if you do need me, email will be best. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Lots of love to you. Be good, be safe and, uh, and have a good week. Ciao.